Okay, before we get started, the first thing you're going to need to download is 7-Zip. I will leave the link to 7-Zip.org in the description below. Once you have 7-Zip installed on your PC, let's head on over to MGBA.io. Once you are here, in the top right, go ahead and click on Downloads. The latest version of this emulator as the recording of this video is 0.10.1 under Desktop OS. We're going to download Windows 64 Portable 7Z Archive. Once you click on it, your download should start. The emulator is now downloaded and I have saved it onto my desktop. Now we need to extract it using 7-Zip. So what you want to do is right click on the file, go to 7-Zip and extract to MGBA. And it's going to create a new folder containing all your extracted files. You no longer need the zip file. So let's right click on it and delete. Now let's open that folder. And this file here, MGBA, will be your emulator. Let's open it. Now there's not too many things we need to change within this emulator. Everything at default settings works pretty well. But there are some things we are going to change. So let's go up to Tools, Settings. And let's go down to Interface. And we're going to uncheck the box show FPS in title bar. The only reason we need that checked is if you feel that your games are lagging, then you want to see your FPS. Let's go down to emulation. And here we're going to check the box enable rewind. This will give you a button that will allow you to rewind your game in real time. Let's go down to enhancements. And we're going to change the video renderer from software to OpenGL for the best performance. And for high resolution scale, you can bump this up to whatever you like. I only have a 1080p monitor, so I'm going eight times. You guys can go higher if you would like. If you will be using your keyboard to play games with this emulator, then go down to keyboard and you can see your key layout that will emulate these buttons. And if you would like to change any keys, then you can do that here. But if you're going to be using a controller like I am, then you want to go down to controllers. And I'm going to be using an Xbox One controller. And as you see, the emulator has detected that I am using an Xbox One controller. Now to map out your buttons, all you want to do is click in the box next to the button you're ready to set up. So we'll start with the left trigger, click in the box, hit the left trigger on my Xbox controller and it goes over to the right. I'm going to hit my right trigger. Let's set up our D-pad. I'm going to click for up, right, down and left and then it jumps over to my a button which i am going to use my b button on my xbox controller and then it jumps to my b button and i'm going to use my a button select and start and if you would like to see your shortcut keys go ahead and click on shortcuts and you can click on each one of these and you can check out your shortcut keys for things such as rewind save fast forward and auto fire and once we have finished with everything, make sure you hit apply. And this will save all of your settings. Now let's go ahead and load up a game. So let's go up to file, load ROM, go ahead and locate wherever you have your Game Boy Advance games. In my case, I have a folder on my desktop called Game Boy Advance games. And just select the game you wanna load up. I'm gonna select Final Fight 1. And the game should load. Now, if you want to go full screen, all you do is press and hold alt and enter. That's alt and enter. Mm -hmm. 